Hi guys, uh, on this video hopefully it's going to be quick, if not it'll be a part 1 and part 2, I'm hoping it's going to be quick. I'm going to be actually showing how to do an HDR uh, photography which stands for high dynamic range. Um, I was going to go and shoot outside but today it's quite cold and two, I haven't got another tripod for my camera so I'm just going to make do with putting my camera on my table at the moment whilst my video camera is on my tripod. I'm just going to go and do a quick shoot of my living room at the moment. It's nothing you know, spectacular or anything like that. I'm just going to do a quick shot just to, so I can show you what HDR is and get to grips with it. Um, hopefully you can see me alright on the cam. You know, I'm trying to test it out and my head keeps popping off it. That's why I'm slouching. Um, but we're going to quickly show you the settings of what, how I use it on my new 600, uh, Canon 600D and usually the settings are usually the same on all Canon ranges so I'll show you the settings that I use and then we'll jump on my computer to show you the actual uh, work, uh, the processing that goes through it on through on Photoshop um, so first off I'm just quickly show you my settings if it's not in focus at all but it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm on manual shooting. Uh, my shutter speed I'm not really bothered about because I can set that when I'm down. Um, start from the bottom then. Shooting in raw. Uh, got uh, evaluative metering. That doesn't make a difference really to me. A self timer now. You need to set a self timer on this for about two seconds. That's what I would do. So then you don't have any judder or any, you know. Any movement when you're pressing the button down, it does it all for you. Um, press one finger, will it? Um, all focus or AL focus, should I say? Was it AI? One of them. This is some of the things on here I don't really know myself yet, but this is how I do it. Keep these all standard. Auto white balance, uh, that's on standard. The image effect. What you need to do is go to your metering. Um, and then you need to select that and then with the little toggle button if you move it out you'll see those little dots and what that does that will take three shots and it'll take the one in the middle which is at normal exposure the one at this one which is two uh, two stops underexposed and it's moved and two stops overexposed and you can move these if I've moved that which is not working. Don't know why it's not working. But usually you can move them straight across as well, which I'll be doing anyway when I'm actually taking the picture. And it'll do it for you if you just press your button once, it'll count down to two seconds and it'll shoot them three shots. And I'm also an ISO 100. I'd suggest to do anything below 600 to, to do HDR photography. You can do it over if you want, but this is how I do it. So that's basically it. Now, like I said, I'm just going to do a quick three shots of my living room. Hopefully I can get this right this time because it wasn't going right before. If, and I, if I press that one button and let me get my... I don't want it on two. Let's get it on one there. Hopefully I can get this shot in. It'll count down two seconds. And it's taken two shots and then the third shot obviously takes longer because it's overexposed and you need to let more light in. And let me just have a look at the photos. That's perfect. That's how I wanted it. I've got I've got one that's a normal shot. Uh, I've got one that's overexposed and then one that's really underexposed. So overexposed, really under, and then just normal. What would have been great, I would really have liked to get the outside of the window, you know, I've got like a boat marina. I've got a uh, a boat marina outside the window, so it would have been nice to get that shot in because usually that's what you can do with HDR because it brings out the shadows and the lights and all sorts. And you're just shooting in three different exposures. I should have been able to get outside, but with my camera being low, all I'm really shooting is the sky, and basically I'm not really even capturing that. But like I said, it's just a quick tutorial and. I will uh, shoot on my computer and 
I'll be actually videoing myself with my new Canon 600D and um, showing you how to edit the HDRs on Photoshop. Hi guys, um, right now we're on. Um, jumped onto the PC on the computer just so we can show you how to do these photos that I've just taken. Um, I'm actually shooting now using my 600D, so hopefully the quality is okay. I'm actually get, trying to get to grips to the uh, the video mode and the quality. Uh, hopefully it's focused on my face okay, and all this bit should really be blurry, but I think it's because it's so close to me, the wall. Uh, I need a better lens to be honest to get uh, to get out of focus. Right, so first off, we have got to go and jump on Photoshop, and let's show you how to edit. HDR and make HDR photos. So first off, let's jump on Photoshop. Let's just open Photoshop here. And what you need to do is, after you've uploaded your photos, obviously, upload your photos on your computer. And we need to go down to press File, go Automate, and go to Merge to HDR Pro. Now I am using a Photoshop CS5. I'm not quite sure about CS3 or CS4 if this has this, but you know they should do. Um, what we need to do now when this pops up is to go into browse. And if I go to my libraries, my pictures, um, I wonder what's today's date, 16th. And there's my three photos I've just taken. So what I need to do it's obviously to press control and just select them all and keep your finger on control and press OK your three photos are gone and then press OK again and what this will start doing is it will start putting them photos together and actually it will pop up with something else um, hopefully it's loading, here it is so what I'll do, I will stop this video and I'll cut it to when this is finished loading as you can see now, it's popped up. Um, this is what comes up after you've done it. I've not clicked anything else, I'll let that just load and then this pops straight up. Um, I'm actually quite disgusted to be honest, just to show you that the TV has not been polished. <laughs> it's got fingerprints all over it from the kids and leaving the table, but still. And I've still got Christmas decorations up, even though it is the, what's the date today, the 16th? So it's quite, kind of bad luck, but you know I might just keep them up till next year. <laughs> that was a joke, right? It might not like, look that much to you at this moment in time because it doesn't really to me. But that's what's great about these settings on the right hand side. You you have already have some presets already built in. You can choose. You know you can do custom ones. But let's just go through some and let's see if we can make this picture a bit more interesting. Right, I want to go for every single one, so let's go to the flat. Nope, that looks crap. Uh, monochromatic, artistic. See, ooh. <laughs> that looks actually quite freaky. But you can see what it's done. What it does, it springs out. By shooting in three exposures, you're shooting, that. you're getting the highlights, you're getting the shadows. You're getting all the detail, really. And then by doing this, um, it brings out.